Good morning and welcome back to the Hidden Artifact channel. Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, when I was a kid, I went sledding a lot here in Michigan. Uh, obviously it gets really cold, lots of snow. And so you try to find the best places to sled and go as fast as you can. And uh, that used to be what we now call Sack Rider Hill, which is actually right behind me, right down there. Um, it is now a hiking trail, so it's no longer a hill. They don't really encourage people to go sledding down there. I remember as a kid, it was incredibly dangerous. It's really, really steep. But it got me thinking, hey, you know what? I wonder if there's anything good at the bottom of that hill. Um, I don't know, coins, rings, jewelry, things that, you know, just flew off kids as they went down the hill. I mean, it's been probably 20, maybe 30 years since anybody's gone down this hill and it's full of weeds, but I'm going to give it a shot and I'll see what I can find. Uh, it is really muggy, it's really hot, but I'll stay out here as long as I can and, and see what I can find. Uh, I'm excited. I, I think I have a good feeling about this one. Um, I highly doubt anybody has ever detected down here. It's a big hunting area, so I'm probably anticipating a lot of bullets, shells, things like that. Uh, but who knows? Let's take a look, find out together. Here we go. Okay, I am uh, towards the bottom of the hill here, this old sledding hill, and I think I just found a ring. I have not taken it out yet, but that to me looks like a ring, so we're gonna find out together. Super happy about this one. This could be my second ring. Actually, it'd be my third ring. Second decent looking ring. It looks... It looks silver. There's no corrosion on it. There isn't... Oh, it's 10 karat gold. Yes. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, this is great. I don't know if you can see that or not. Incredible. I knew this would pay off. I had a feeling. Super happy, guys. Super, super happy about this one. So glad I stopped here. Incredible. I am still buzzing about that uh, ring I just found. I hit another signal right next to it. It's this guy right here. It's a cartridge. It's a big one. Pretty cool. I'll keep that. Okay, right next to that rifle cartridge. Yet another casing. 45 auto. I have a feeling these are gonna be everywhere around here. <laughs> Already within, what, two square feet I found three. That's crazy. I'm surprised I even found that ring with all this trash around. It's promising though, lots of stuff down here. This little spot is really uh, giving me some great stuff here. Just found this little guy. Not sure what that was. Maybe off a piece of clothing or something. That's pretty old. All right, we got a pretty strong signal here in the gold range. So we'll do a little live dig here, see what we found. It's right in the, uh, it's right in the dirt ball here, in the plug. Take a look. Yep. Good old pull tab. That's strange. It was coming up in gold. Oh well. It's a little hard to see, but I'm on a pretty steep angle here. I'm headed up towards the top of this uh, trail. And uh, on the way up, I decided to just kind of 
swing along and I just hit something and it appears to be gold or silver. And we'll do a little live dig here. It's tiny. Ah. <laughs> oh, that one got me good. Shoot. Oh well, it looked promising. <laughs> All right, made it to the top of the hill. Up here we have a platform overlooking the town. Which I'll try to get a shot of that, but there's a lot of trees in the way. And uh, we have this large cross. Usually on Easter morning they do uh, service up here. So I'm definitely gonna scan around here and I don't know, maybe we'll find something. couple of stones here at the base of the cross. Got a little message here from a family that visited. And this stone was loose, so I decided to turn it over. Hmm. I was hoping to find all kinds of Cool stuff up here, but so far it's turning into well, just a bunch of trash. I keep finding this just scrap metal. It's lead or tin or something. I'm not too sure, but every five feet there's another piece of it. And my detector's going crazy, so I think that's gonna be it for today. Can't hunt with this stuff around. Well, unfortunately you can't really see much up here with all the trees. But I remember coming up here as a kid and you can see all the way down the valley down there. It's a pretty cool sight, to be honest. Probably better in spring. Here's the roundup. Can you see what I found the most of? <laughs> Just like I predicted. Ammunition. Oh my god, so much ammunition. Uh, mostly, you know, hunting rifle shells. And interestingly enough, I found this one three separate times in three different locations, all maybe the same manufacturer. So whoever was shooting those off was going pretty crazy. Got a little air rifle cartridge. Um, here we have a RP45 Auto, got a little guy here, can't quite read that, I think it's a Winchester. Uh, lots of little 22 rim fires, including one that has the uh, bullet still attached, I thought that was pretty cool. A couple crushed ones over here, and then this is actually one of the bullets I found, uh, minus the cartridge, that actually hit something, and uh, I found that, I was pretty excited about that. Another really cool bullet find. Um, found this really old 22 shell. Pretty beaten up shotgun, sorry, shotgun shell. Uh, pretty beaten up. And then this is pretty awesome. So this is a bullet that hit something and completely bent back on itself. It looks like it was a full metal jacket, which is a pretty crazy gun. <laughs> Just imagine how much damage that thing would do. Pretty, pretty nuts. Uh, pull tabs. I found a million pull tabs. I just showed one, just to remind everybody what a pull tab looks like. Found this really old square nail. Um, pretty happy with that one. Looks like it's an old flooring nail or something. It's in great shape. Uh, really neat dog tag, I think, or some kind of equipment tag. It just says SMS Livonia, Michigan 4555. I looked this up and I, I can't find anything. Um, thought this was a coin at first because I was just seeing just that part there. and Unfortunately, it's just a tag. Uh, lots of clad coins, mostly from the 70s, 80s. I found pennies, dimes, nickels, quarters, all of it. Lots of little buckles and attachments. Uh, but the big find of the day, the one that I'm super, super happy about, that I found within 15 minutes of showing up, right here. It's a 10 karat gold 
spring. Um, I'd say overall it's probably worth between, well, I don't know, 50 to $100, somewhere in that area. Um, I mean, just in scrap alone, it's, it's worth about 50 or 60 bucks. Uh, as a ring, it's probably closer to 100, maybe, maybe a little bit more. But, man, that's my first gold ring. Really, really excited about that one. Very excited about that. So, so far this year I found several rings. Um, and the year's not over. I got probably another month or two still left. Pretty great for uh, about two hours of work. So once again, thanks for tuning in, guys. Please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Post on their Facebook feeds. Post on their YouTube channels. I don't care what you do. Put it on your Twitter. Uh, I love the support. Um, getting great comments. Getting some uh, pretty cool traction on the channel. I am getting close to 100 subscribers, which I honestly thought I would never do. Um, maybe next year it'll be 1,000. Who knows? But as of right now, I'll be happy with 100. So uh, hopefully by the end of the year, I can get to that 100. I would uh, really appreciate that, and maybe I'll give something away. Who knows? Give you a little contest or something for 100 subscribers. Until next time, guys, keep digging. Thank you so much. See you next time.